Come on, Paul. We've been out here over three hours. I mean, we don't even know where the hell she went. Well, she's at least 12 footer if I ever saw one. No, I ain't leaving here without her. Man, I'm cold. Shut your hole. Oh, come on, man. I can't go like this. Why in the hell not? Well, because it's weird with you sitting there like that. Just keep it down, would you? See, no matter what I say, it's shut up, Ainsley, or you're queer, Ainsley, or why can't you be more like your sister, Ainsley? I said shut up, you little queer. See? See that? Asshole. What'd you say, boy? Nothing. That don't make me throw you in the swamp now. Yeah, you go. Jesus Christ! Something's gonna happen. She's driving by my cycle! Come on, man. You better get away, you moron. Well, what the hell was I supposed to do? For crying out loud, can we just pull over so I can finish my damn piss? Lord! Y'all hurry up now. Goddamn queers got a squat to take a leap. Still, Ainsley. I think she's back. Well, what should I do? Don't make a sound. Stay right there. Paul? Did you get her?
here, Ralph, man. This is Mardi Gras. This is fun. Yeah, I'm having a blast. Oh, oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Look at that. Oh, look at those moves right there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're something new, right? Haven't you seen enough boobs? I'm just not feeling this. I, I should have stayed at home. What, so you can sit in your room and cry about Heather? Christine. Man, man, we came down here to have a good time. You, you're fighting it. There's fun all around you. Stop standing there like a bitch. How is this fun? This place is disgusting. Our hotel room smells like sweaty balls, man. Everybody's just drunk and looking for a fight. You, you threw up six times yesterday. How do you even do that? You guys just stay and have fun, all right? I'm gonna go find something to do. What, by yourself? DeWitt and Robinson told me about this haunted swamp tour thing that they did last year. They said it was amazing. You see all these like floating lights and stuff on the water? <laughs> just... You wanna leave all of this to go look at some damn lights in a swamp? You don't have to come with me, Marcus. Like, I'll see you guys back at the hotel. Cool. Ben, wait up, wait up, wait up, no, man. I'll Marcus, go. no, go ahead. No, 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 I'm going with you, it's cool. Thanks, man. Buddy, you're gonna be so psyched you did this. I think I'd rather skin my own dick. Right. It's official. Here it is. No more chicks. They're closed. No, they can't be closed. But indeed they are. It's a big clothes sign, and it's you're still not here. All right. It sucks. No, it doesn't suck. It's gonna be cool. For you, because you suck. Shut up, obviously. What do you want? Oh. Uh, we wanted to do a haunted swamp tour. I don't do night tours anymore. I'm not allowed to. Okay, it's just that our friends told us that you did one here last year. I can't do night tours anymore. Insurance got too high after what happened. Too bad. Let's roll. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what happened? Oh, you don't want to know. I so do. Here we go. I had a tour group out in the swamp last Halloween. It was the mist of night. Yeah? And there was this kid who looked kind of like you. He got spooked by something in the marsh. He saw two eyes staring at him from the woods. It chilled him to his very marrow. He wanted to get off the boat in a hurry. And he had his foot dangling over the edge. He... He fell in? A gator got him? What happened? He slipped. Hit his head right on the roof. And sued me for negligence. That cocksucker! That's it? Try your real of all. Excuse me? Two blocks east on Olive Street. But you didn't hear it for me. I have to go tend to my birds. Be careful walking on the sidewalk. Oh, come on, man. Wait. What? It's dead as hell down there, right? Fun party. Bad badness. Wait, Ben. Come on. This is so lame. How is this gonna help you get over her? Marcus, this whole scene back here, it's just... Every hot, half-naked chick I see reminds me of Christine, you know? Probably getting banged by that Bulkowski guy. In her living room, bent over that beige love seat that my mom bought her. What happened to dating a normal guy? That guy's got a neck the size of a truck. And that whole cauliflower ear, that's weird. What, is he gonna wrestle her to submission? No, no, right, stop, stop, okay, stop, okay, right, okay. I don't wanna think about Bukowski banging your girl anymore. I don't either. I get it. Come on, man. This is gonna be fun. Best ain't no chicks in the swamp, won't be needing these. It'll be fun. About as fun as crabs. Yeah, you would know. Screw that waitress from Fezziwig, man. You did.
I didn't know she had bugs in the bush. <laughs> she was scratching herself all night. What do you mean you didn't know? You can't hook up with itchy chicks, Marcus. Everybody knows that. She said it was a reaction to her fabric softener, OK? All right? I saw it, I asked. Fabric softener. Look at you, Mr. Big Shot. Everyone knows that. When was the last time you got laid? I have sex all the time. Shut up. <laughs> Ladies. <sighs> this is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. Good. Uh, uh um, uh, give us a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you love it. You want it. You need it. Oh, well, damn, I, I gotta change batteries. Oh, God, brush your teeth much? Lick me, bitch. No thanks, I like my tongue without the syphilis. You're syphilis, Miss Big Words. Okay, that doesn't even make sense. Lick me. Misty, Jen, I, I, you can get along for a couple more hours, can't you? Seriously, Doug? I can't work with that. I'm a professional actress. I went to NYU. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> like anybody's ever even heard of that. New York University? Never heard of it. All right, girls, girls, nobody ever got discovered by being difficult. I mean, I, I, I need you guys to show me the love, all right? I, I need to feel the passion here, all right? We're rolling. I need to feel the passion. We're rolling. All right, you're sensuous. You're playful. <laughs> you're curious. Mm. You're smitten. Mm. <laughs> Who's ready to do some haunting, huh? <laughs> the night will soon be upon us. The spirits of the damned are on the rise. Let's get our souls on the move, my friends. What can I do you two for? Do you do a haunted swamp tour? Why, I do the only haunted swamp tour? Real live ghosts? Ooh, tales of the macabre. <gasps> and actual sights that are still damned by <gasps> voodoo curses. I hate you. Oh, well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leaving right now, a 40 bones each. $40? Yes. All right. Can you spot me? Well, you don't have any cash? No, I'm just not paying for this bullshit. Okay, baby. I know, darling. Yes, hello. 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 Hi there. How are you doing? Oh, oh hey. <laughs> you mind if I sit here? You're my guest. Oh. Hello. Hey. Oh, hi. Can you see the footage? Uh, so I guess I'm sitting here. I'm Ben. Mary Beth. Mary Beth, that's a great name. Because it's actually two names, you know. Most people just have one, and that's kind of boring. <laughs> ben. But Mary Beth, it's, you know, it's Mary and it's Beth. That's a nice coat. So do you have any pets, or? Are you enjoying Mardi Gras? Yep. I couldn't find anyone brave enough to do the ghost tour with you, huh? Nope. Right on, right on. Some buddies of mine back home went on this Not tour. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
I didn't come on this tour because I was hoping that just maybe I'd get to meet you. If you don't mind, I'd like to just sit and stare out this window and get my $30 worth, okay? need that thing. It's like the size of a Mini Cooper. See you later, safe. Like a Mini Cooper limo. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm... Um, oh, no, you... We... The... <laughs> we are so cute when we do that. <laughs> I'm Marcus. Jenna. Hello there. Jim Promatio. And this here's the missus, Shannon. How do you do? Doug Shapiro. Nice to meet you. Nice camera. Making a movie? Yeah. Well, well, what do you know, Lovekins? We've got ourselves a director over here. How exciting. What kind of movie is it? Well, have you ever heard of Bayou Beavers? Sure. No. no. Okay, everyone. If you take a look out your right side, you'll see the legendary St. Louis Cemetery number one. Uh, founded in 1789, uh, this here is the resting place of the uh, first oh. black mayor of New Orleans, Ernest Morio. It is also believed to be the burial site of the infamous voodoo queen Marie Laveau. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, you all notice how we bury our dead above the ground? Well, that's because of all the voodoo curses in the air down here. The dead have a tendency to rise out of the dirt, so we like to keep them all cemented in instead. Sean, excuse me, but we heard that the reason you buried them above ground is because of the water level. Oh, no. That's right. The water level is so high that sometimes things in the ground will rise back up to the surface. No, that's not why. But we heard... Passendo! All right, uh, time's wasting. Uh, everyone on board. <laughs> scare bus, scare boat. Everyone. On. All right, all right. <laughs> hit it, hit it. All right. No, t no time for dinner, Jalen. Okay. Got to beat the rush. That's right. All right, all right. Come through. Okay, gotta go, gotta go. Dude. That's the boat. Okay, let's uh, see some girls, huh? Okay, you're silly. You're tough. You're cute. You've got a secret. man's trying to talk to you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey! Where you think you're going? What's he saying? Oh, well, uh, that guy, uh, don't mind him. That's just uh, Jack Cracker. <laughs> Jack Cracker? Yeah, yeah, one of the local alligator hunters just uh, sits there, yells things, uh, drinks his own piss. He's, uh, you know, uh, cracked. Oh, come on. This swamp is closed! Victor Crowley! What's he saying? Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Everybody wait by by the jack. Everybody wait by by the jack. Y'all gonna die. Just the ones you want to keep. <laughs> That's right. There's big alligators in these here waters. Hey, now, uh, check it out. You're off to the left. You'll see something you don't see every day, but I do. <laughs> Real life cypress trees. Now, hey, what did the Spanish mall say to the cypress? Mind if I hang around? <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll tell that joke in Espanol. Hey there, isn't the cypress a Louisiana state tree? I bet it sure is. Yeah, since 1963, the bald cypress. Oh, now, only room for one guy on this boat now. <laughs> now, now, we're gonna move into a part of the swamp with the scary ghosts, y'all. Now, I need everyone to be over-enthusiastic or you'll wind up overboard. <laughs> now, here on the Mississippi Bayou, hundreds of fishermen and old pirates have lost their lives. And if we're lucky, we might be able to see their souls floating over the waters where they up and die. Now, you all should feel very safe. This is beat. Come on, man. Give it a break. This is fun. Not as fun as a bag of dicks. This is beat as hell. The only thing scary is Uncle Remus meets Bruce Lee. I feel like I'm in Enter the Song of the South or some shit. What about your new girlie here, huh? I believe that was the president that was... She aight. But it's not like I'm pulling the ass on a stupid boat. Okay, so lay the groundwork, set it up for later. Like you and what's your face? That's a nice coat. <laughs> that was classic. Yeah. About as classic as. It's about, it's about as classic as. I got nothing. <laughs> exactly. Now, uh, coming up, you all see an old house with a barn behind it. That right there is a home of a real famous Louisiana legend, Victor Crowley. Legend is, is that uh, he was a deformed man whose own father went nuts and whacked him in the face with a hatchet one night. Probably on account of he was uh, so uh, ugly or something. Anyway, he died. And so the story goes is that if you're ever near the old Crowley house late at night, you can still hear old Victor Crowley crying for his daddy. Daddy. Y'all hear that? Hmm. Daddy! I don't heard it again. That ain't the story. Uh, th that's the gist of it, anyway. It's not even the house. Guys, would you just let me do my job? Say, my boss, say, tell me, tell me, tell me, come on, yeah! Y'all trying to crawfish it? I'm so psyched I did this. <laughs> that fade you had in high school. What? It's about as classic as that fade. Too late. Why? You still on classic? <sighs> Are y'all ready to see something really scary? Huh? Are y'all ready? Everyone who's ready, say, oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it anyway. Here we go. Okay, folks, I'm gonna shut the lights off for a second. I want your eyes adjust you'll be able to see some of the ghost lights just hovering above the water over to the right at Quaj Island. I don't see anything. Oh, uh, wait, wait till your eyes adjust. They're adjusted, there's just nothing there. Hey, can we get those lights going again? You're killing all my camera shots. Jim, look, I think I see something. Oh, that's right! Yeah, you see? Now, not one, but two ghosts! See, I told y'all! Is that just a chemical reaction from the water and the gases? No, 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 man! It's the ghost, look! Nah, bruh. Those are marsh vapors. I've seen this on TV. Oh, hell, man, why'd you even come then? The ghosts! Oh, you're right. Except no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. 
Now, uh, that's the spot where Captain John Donovan uh, supposedly buried a trunk full of treasure. Legend says, though, that he left two of his crew behind to guard it, but he cut off the legs so they couldn't run away. <laughs> that's a stupid story. Fine. Jim, did you see that? I did. What was that? Oh, it, it could it could could be one of the more active spirits we sometimes get after it rains. Oh, oh, oh it's spooky, isn't it, folks? <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Hey, who wants to be in the Halloween video? Uh, Come on, girls. Your woo is so not in the moment. Yeah, well, your nipples are dumb. Uh. This is pretty cool. It's cold. Oh. Not much of a talker, are you? I ain't here to make friends. Friends? <laughs> Must be a local. I just didn't know that locals did this touristy we don't. stuff. No, of course. Yeah, no. Yeah, I wouldn't really do it either, normally. It's just buddies of mine from college told me about it, said it was cool, so I figured what the hell, you know? Check out the swamp. Enjoy the activity. So I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I uh, just got dumped by my girlfriend of eight years, and uh, my friends took me down here to try to get my mind off of it, but, you know, I, we were together since the seventh grade May dance, and... You know, she tells me she needs space. What does that even mean in girl language? Space. Whatever. Get my mind off her. Just relax. What happened? Oh, we just uh, got, got stuck. Stuck? On what? Oh, on some uh, rocks or something. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, here, someone, someone give me a hand. Here, help me push the boat off. Is this a part of every tour? Relax, it's all good. to the shore. No, no, it, it looks dangerous. Damn, no, I could be at a bar. You are not gonna do, no. Here, watch me. Oh, no, oh, Jim, wait. Jim, wait. It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, it's a little slippery, so you have to watch your steps. But I 
freaking electrical storm of the Somebody want to tell me what the hell's going on? Does someone want to explain why Janie's got a gun? Oh, why do you have a gun? Oh, and why should I tell you, you little con artist? Uh. Huh? Okay, okay, look. I'm going to be honest. I just moved down here from Detroit. My brother, who hooked me up with this tourist gig, told me I could make a ton of dough. So I say, try it out. How many tours have you done? More importantly, how many boats you ever driven? Look, I did the one tour last night that I did this one here tonight, all right? The boat didn't sink last night! I, I can't believe this. What the, what the hell does she have a gun for? That's what I want to know. Because I'm looking for another boat, okay? Because my daddy and my brother went out hunting on this river two nights ago and they never came back. And the cops said they're probably just off on a bender or something somewhere, but I know that isn't what happened. So you go on the ghost tour? How, how does that make any sense? Well, 30 bucks for a boat ride was a hell of a lot cheaper than getting my own boat, wasn't it? That still doesn't explain the gun. Yeah, and why her ticket was only 30 bucks. I have a gun because these woods aren't safe. Besides, it just saved his life. Uh, Stop it! Uh, <laughs> my husband needs help. Look, we need to get him help, and we need to get out of these woods. Who made you the leader? We should call for help and stay right here. <sighs> no bars. I hate the cell. I don't think we should move him right now. Well, we have to. He's bleeding pretty badly. We can't carry him all the way home. If we don't get out of these woods right now, we're all going to die. <laughs> what are you talking about? <sighs> these are his woods. 
Who's Woods? Victor Crowley. Enough with the stories already, huh? Y'all don't even know where you are. I already told you. All right, that... shut up, okay? You're not even from here. Where are we? It was like a dirty secret. Victor Crowley was born horribly disfigured. His daddy kept him hidden away in his house where no one would see him. They live like that for years. Just keep it in themselves, alone. Victor was scared to death of other kids. They teased him and tortured him like kids do. They were so cruel. <laughs> and then, years later, on Halloween night, some teenagers came to the house. And they were trying to get a look at him, trying to scare him out of the house. tried and tried to get inside, but the door was on fire. He could hear Victor screaming inside, but he couldn't get in. So he ran and got himself a hatchet, and he started chopping at that door. But Victor was pressed up against the other side, trying to get out. And it was an accident, but he hit him in the face with that hatchet. And poor Victor Crowley died. The old man became a recluse after that. He never left his house. Just sat there for almost 10 years before he finally died of a broken heart. And from that point on, people started disappearing in the swamp. All the locals and hunters say that if you get close enough to the Crowley house at night, you can still hear Victor Crowley crying for his daddy in the woods. They say he's come back. He wanders the swamp at night with that hatchet slash across his face. This whole part of the river is illegal to even be in. It has been for years. That's why there's no other tour boats. And that's why he brought us this way, so we wouldn't get caught running his phony business. That's why I came. To find your father? My brother. They started coming down this way to hunt gators last week. I thought they'd catch more being the only boat in a closed off swamp. And I told them not to come. So you think a ghost get your family? Okay, that, that is so stupid. I mean, look around, there's no one in these woods. Yes, there is. They probably got stuck just like we did. And they had to walk the whole way home. You know, right now they're probably sitting in a Denny's or something. Moon's over my head, Mio. Besides, we are nowhere near the Crowley house. Okay, I already told you. It's on the other side of the river over two miles ago. That wasn't the house! How do you know? Because that is. told you all the truth, okay? I don't care who believes it. You are really starting to freak me out, all right? I just want to go home. Tell me this is part of the tour. 
Oh yeah, I sink the boat every night. It's hilarious. I want my money back. All right, okay, but there's, there's gotta be a road around here or something. <laughs> I don't want to go that way. I'm not going that way. If it's the quickest way, then that's the way we're going. <laughs> Why couldn't you keep your stories to yourself, huh? We're not in enough trouble that you had to scare the pants off everyone, too? I am trying to help you. Y'all need to know the truth. Baloney! All right, all right, all right. Just you help me come pick him up, all right? Come on. <laughs> Get up right over my shoulder. Get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Ah. Be careful, be careful, easy, easy. Uh, uh, You got him, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm right here, Jim. Uh. 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 Oh. All right, everything's gonna be just fine. Look, we'll get him some help and we'll all go home. Stay close to me. Really scared of that story, huh? I mean, look, it's just a myth. Everybody has them. Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster. Stop talking. Okay. I cannot believe that I am out here in a swamp. I bet Julia Roberts didn't have to do this before she got Mr. Pizza. Do you believe that Victor whatever story? Oh, absolutely not. I don't trust anyone around here. I mean, these people sleep exclusively with their own families. Yo, why is it that the crackers are packed there with the honeys and the two brothers? Gotta care the engine, dude. I am so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I just want to get to a road, then I'm gonna whip your ass. Jim, how you doing, baby? I'm so cold. It hurts like a son of a gun. How much further is the road past the house? I don't know. A few miles? A few miles? Are you kidding me? Did you? Shh. I want to go home. Oh. oh! You are all a bunch of cowards! Is anybody home? Somebody help us! We need help! Please stop! We shouldn't have gone this way. We need to turn around. You go where? Back in the water? Uh, please just stop! We need to stick together. We need to stop him. Uh, come on! You can't carry him all by yourself. We don't need those movies. Those cowards! Stop! We need to stick together. Everything's good. Just stop. We have the good Lord with us, baby. The good Lord will protect us. <laughs>
think you shot him, but I thought it was a ghost. You can't shoot a ghost. You can shoot a ghost. Did you kill him? I don't know. He fell down. This isn't happening. Where, 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 where's Marcus? Up here. No way, I'm staying right here. This is bullshit, man. This is fucked up. What can you see from up there? I can see ain't no dead elephant man coming to get me. Come on. Do you see a road, lights, anything? I think I see downtown, but I don't know. Well, how far? What direction? That way. But it's far, way too far. All right. Well, uh, do you see a road or cars or something? Stupid shit, man. It's dark, it's wet, and I can't see shit. Wait, where's Shapiro? <laughs> go find him. That was mean. Try your phone. Oh, I dropped it. You lost it? Moron! Shut up, skink! Enough! You cannot have gotten very far, okay? Let's go! All right, Marcus, come on, let's go. No way. No, I'm staying right here. No, no need to panic, okay? Just come down. We gotta go get help. All right, we'll send someone for you tomorrow. Let's go. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm coming. Damn it. I'm not even supposed to be here right now, man. I used to be looking at some titties, man. What's wrong with us? Shit. What the fuck did I get up to this goddamn tree? Okay. Let me... Ah! Oh! God damn it. A branch hit me in the nuts. Oh! Oh! What? This is bullshit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Maybe, maybe he's just some sick, twisted, backwoods hick who, like, snapped and went on a killing spree. Yeah, and now he's dead because she shot him. Get your own theories. Oh, God. God. It's a backwoods hick, huh? Who says it's not some spoiled little city brat who went crazy after doing softcore porn to get back at her parents? Okay. For your information, I am from the valley, not the city. Victor Crowley is real. My mama always said that sometimes if a person dies all traumatic like then their their spirit can get kind of just stuck in the night they died. Like a poltergeist? Like a ghost that can physically move things? No. Like a ghost who can rip someone to pieces right in front of you. I just want to get the hell out of here. You know what, Jackie Tucker? Your tour sucks my ass. What did you just call me? You heard me. Right. Say it again. I say it all night, you fake Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker. I think I hear a little emerald, you confused wannabe. Why'd you just get off my case, asshole? It was an accident, for Christ's sake. Okay, look. I'm gonna be completely and totally honest with you guys. I like to... Oh, what? What? Ah! 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 Come on! Come on! Oh. Hey, come on! Shit! Stop, 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 stop. This isn't my fault, all right? Oh, really? Yes, really. What, you think I should believe these stupid, lame-ass ghost stories? Well, I'm believing it now. Did you see that Guys. shit back there? Guys! 
I bet this means Shapiro was here. <laughs> what a genius. You do know the vibrator goes in your cooch and not your ear, right? Hey, why don't you suck your dad off again, bitch? I will right after you're done. Fine. Good. All right, anybody got a lighter? What are you doing? Just, uh... Looking for this. What else do we got here? Samuel M. Barrett? What's that? Shapiro. It's his driver's license. What? I don't know. Credit card, Samuel M. Barrett. Ten bucks. Condom. Business card. We got two sets here. Samuel M. Barrett, Whitman Diagnostics, Senior Marketing Manager. Doug Shapiro, Producer Director. That asshole! I flew all the way down here from New York, and he... Ah! Oh! So he didn't really work for Bayou Beavers? I'm thinking no. Dude must pretend he's a producer to get his own little collection. Good idea. That pervert! Why are all men such slime? I can't believe I've fallen for that shit three times now. Okay, whoa, whoa. Anyone else have any more secrets? Because if I find out someone else is lying, I swear I'll kill you myself. shot him, all right? Nobody's gonna die. He's still alive. Oh man, he looks dead as shit. Not him. Crowley. Well, you only shot him like once, right? Maybe you gotta shoot him four times. Like, I don't know, four or six times. Maybe you gotta shoot him like six times. I want to keep moving. Can we please keep moving? I don't want to stay here. We should stick away. We can see the river. So we won't get more lost. Did y'all hear that? What? It's over here. What is that? What is that? My cell phone. No. Oh, God. No, 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 that's a good thing. We can call for help. No. Shit, we just went in a huge circle. I thought you knew your way around here. Oh, set the fucking tour guide. Oh, hey, I don't want to hit you, but you're making your... Go check out that barn. See if there's a weapon. There's gotta be something else to fight back with. No, no, no. You can't go back to that house. I only have a few shots left. We need something else. What if it comes back? No, we don't have much time. Our... Stay here. Cool. Do you have a signal on that thing? Come on. Go through. We shouldn't stay here, right? We gotta keep moving. Look, if it was ringing, it has to work. Ew, Scott Barnes called me? What? Will you just dial? It won't let me work. God damn it.
It's my daddy and my brother. <laughs> The number is 911. What else would it be, dumbass? Well, how should I know it's the stealth? Maybe you have to type in a different area code. Oh, God. What? Don't move. I said. We should run. What if it's a person and they need help? We'll apologize later. I think there's a kid in there. You're crazy. If it was that monster, we'd already be dead. Oh, screw this. What is that? Oh, hell no. I'm not walking over there. What if someone's hurt? If they're still alive, they're doing a lot better than some people we know. We're just can't leave someone out here to die. Look who grew a conscience. Look, they might need help. Why me? Because you have a flashlight. Fine. I get it. I see how it is. <laughs> Make your brother do it, huh? I'm a man. <laughs> Walk over here. I'm the man of the group anyway. Cause I whipped you. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh shit! No! Oh. Oh. Touch me, man. Damn. All right. Let's see if there's a little baby in there. Hey, baby. You up in here? Oh man, it's just a stupid. Kick your teeth out. You cruel, stupid, slutty. Guys, we don't have time for this. <laughs> I just want to make it stop. Please, I just want to wake up. We have to keep moving away from that house. <laughs> it don't matter. This is his swamp. He's just going to kill us all. There's got to be something that we can do. He is trapped in the night that he was killed. He's angry and he is scared. He's going to mutilate anyone that comes near him. What if he's human? What if he never really died? That thing was never human. Oh, shit. Guys, battery's not gonna last much longer. All right, let's go, let's go. Which way? Um, 
That way. <laughs> This is useless. He's just gonna keep coming for us till we're all dead. Well, we can't stop running. What else are we gonna do? We can hurt him, ghost or not. Look, you saw how fast he fell when I stuck him back there. He went down when you shot him. I'm saying we fight back. How? Misty, you got that lighter on you? Oh, you wanna fight that monster with my lighter? Look, there were some gas canisters back at the shed. Were they full? I don't know, maybe. Wait, you want to go back to the shed? I thought the further we got from the house, the safer we get. If we don't kill him, he'll kill us all. You're crazy! Ben, you don't even know if there's gas in those cans, man. I know it's a better chance than we have running around in these woods getting picked off one by one. No, you're right. Everything is soaked. How are we going to start a fire? If one of us can get close enough to throw that gas on him... We can light him up. <laughs> you're all high. No way, I am not. Do you have a better idea? No. All right, let's do this. How? All right. Hey, some time in here, all right? Yell if you hear anything. I don't like this. It's too quiet. All right, come on, let's distract him. Hey, asshole! Come out, we're right here! Yeah, come out, get us, Crowley, where are you? Come on, you freak! You look like you've been molested by wolves! Show yourself, you ugly bastard! Come and get me, Crowley! What? You afraid I'm gonna whip your ass again, you little bitch? All right, come on. One on one, me and you. I put my foot so far in your ass, you're gonna be pulling shoelaces out your teeth for a week. You see anything? Nothing.
Look at me! All this bodice is time, don't waste it! Come on! Over here. All right, let's follow this till we find an opening.
my daddy's boat. Come on, come on. See you. 